Hey everyone, welcome back to the movie Bunker. Today we're looking at Teeth. That's right, Teeth. This is, uh, I believe, 2007, brought to us by uh, Mitchell Lichtenstein. Uh, this is the story of a young girl who, uh, coming of age and whatnot, discovers that her uh, lady bits are kind of like a lamprey. Uh, they tend to bite things off. Or it tends to bite things off. Yeah, basically her, her pussy has teeth, um, is, is basically the way to put it. And uh, it is story of this girl trying to, uh, you know, come to an understanding of, of, of her body and how she is different, as well as, you know, boys who, being teenage boys, um, are not the most forthright in their intentions. So it is her coming to terms of whether the fact that this is a curse or is it a blessing? Is it is it a little bit of both? Is this something that she can uh, learn to use uh, to her benefit? This movie, I mean, obviously, any movie where the main focus is a girl with, uh, uh, basically a, a dick-eating pussy, uh, doesn't really eat it, it spits them out. So, it, it, you know, it's at least kind of that way where you can possibly sew it back on. Um, this movie's obviously not taking itself completely seriously, and you are not meant to take it completely seriously. Is it a good movie? Um, it's an okay movie. I mean, you know... You know what you're expecting going in, I would I would assume, um, you know, to, to the point where, as I said, teeth with, you know, pussy with teeth. I mean, what are you expecting this movie to be? It's, this is not high art. Um, I still think the movie itself, it was a little slow at times, and I, I think it could have been a little better, but for the most part, it delivered what it promised, which was, I mean, it didn't necessarily promise it, but I'm assuming when you have a movie with pussy with teeth, that a dick's can get bit off at least once. And it, it, it delivered that. So pretty much it delivered what I expected it to deliver. Um, I like the way the movie ends. Um, I, I think it actually ends in, in, in a way that I think is fitting for the character as well as the overall story. Um, scale of 1 to 10, oh man. Um, uh, this is kind of, well, you know, it's kind of like puberty. Um, in some ways, it sucks a lot. In other ways, it's kind of like you're, you're discovering new things and you're, you're exploring new things, and that's what this girl's going through. She's discovering and exploring new things, obviously much different than any of us, at least as far as I know, uh, would go through during puberty. Um, it is a confusing time. It is a strange time where hormones are rampant, and it's how we learn to deal with those things. Obviously, this girl has to learn to deal with it in a different way. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's campy, it's cheesy, and... and if you like movies like that, if you like movies like if you like movies like Bad Biology, or uh, maybe you know stuff along those lines, you might get a kick out of this. Um, you might not. It, it, this one's obviously not for everyone, uh, but it's not meant to be taken seriously. So, and I think the the, the lead character, uh, Jen, Jen Jess uh, Wexler or Wexler, I think she does a pretty good job in the lead role of this, and and she's believable in both her her confusion and her, her own fear of her own body and, and, and what is going on with her. So that's all I got for this one. Until next time, everyone stay safe out there in the wasteland.